Welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Videos with Nathaniel. Today, we will now solve question 1E of MIT Oxford 2016. The question asks to draw this. How do we draw this? First, we find its gradient. Well, it's, this step is not entirely necessary, though it will provide us with a general idea on how the graph will look like. Using the chain rule, x minus 1 squared will differentiate to this, and then plus sine pi x equals to 2x minus 2 plus sine pi x. If you draw the gradient out, it will look something like... As you can see, it crosses the x-axis at three points, which means we will need something like this or like this. We will now find out what the shape is like. First, we will now substitute points between 0 and 2 at 0 0.5 intervals. Of course, they will have some oscillations at the end. This becomes 0 minus 1 squared minus cos 0. 0 0.5 minus 1 squared minus cos pi over 2. 1 minus 1 squared minus cos pi. 1.5 minus 1 squared minus cos 3 pi over 2 and 2 minus 1 squared minus cos 2 pi. As you notice, there is some kind of symmetrical structure and there is. Let's calculate the first value which amounts to 1 minus 1 equals to 0 and this also amounts to 1 minus 1 equals to 0. You can see there's some kind of symmetrical structure here. Now let's calculate the value for 1. So it has 0 minus minus 1 equals to 1. Now here, this becomes minus 0 0.5 times minus 0 0.5 equals to 0 0.25. And here it's also 0 0.25 because if you change both sides of the 0 0.5, both sides actually, then you see no change in the result. This is not enough, so we'll find, let's see, 0 0.25. Will there be a change? Now, this will calculate to 0 0.25 minus 1 squared minus cos pi over 4 equals to 0 0.75 squared minus root 2 over 2. As you can imagine, it is negative. We will just calculate the exact value out for you. 9 over 16 minus root 2 over 2 equals to 9 minus 8 root 2 over 16. It's negative! So we have found out that the area in the 3 minima is of this shape. So now let's draw out the graph. As you can imagine, this is a very interesting looking graph and if you plan to look for other odd looking graphs, you can in your own free time. And I certainly didn't discover this by free time. It's actually part of the MAT. And there you have it, using the D over DX to give you an idea of how many maxima or minima the function should have and give you a general idea of the gradient. Thank you and bye!